Serving Tampa Bay since 1954, the Heritage Station, WTMP, Egypt Lake, Tampa, Clearwater, 97.5 in Pinellas. All righty, all righty. Wait, that's the first time this year we said that. <laughs> Live. <laughs> hey, people, it is the first Push Talk Radio of 2022. For people to be doing the 2022 anything, Folks still saying 2021. So so y'all don't know whether they're making a mistake or whether they think it's 2021 again or something, but it's 2022. And you are here with us. Us folks today. here at Porsche Talk Radio got it right. We be live. Yes. Okay. So what I was going to do mm -hmm. is I had this agenda, and we were going to kind of do like we did last week. Mm -hmm. We were going to enlighten your your mind and, and, and bring you some nun mess but you know because because you know a lot of times a lot of these shows you know a lot of these folks you know they got black mess oh yeah uh -oh. they got that mess uh -oh. stuff uh -oh. going starting on starting out early Eddie and what we what we what we not gonna do mm -hmm. since we're not a mess type show <laughs> and we're not PC we, we're we're not politically correct but we're not a gossip show uh -huh. because, because that, that, that there's a that, that there's a a a process and, and there there's a, a a thing that's associated with those kind of shows mm -hmm. and 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 you guys know what I'm talking about so I don't have to tell you uh -huh. because if you listen you know to Saturday morning uh, radio on TMP I mean see I show come on at one o'clock so we're officially an afternoon show. So we officially bring in the truth and the good news to make you happy. Yeah, so we're not a morning show. After you've been depressed so, all So, 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 so people, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Welcome to, 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 to 2022. Uh, and, and what I'm going to do, I had a, I had a, like I said, I had a, okay, let, okay, let me go, let me go ahead and start sure. the show. Let me Come go ahead and start the show. Okay, this is Porch Talk Radio. Wow. For, for you folks who ended up here and not sure how you got here. Where are this, you? This is not that other show <laughs> that you've been listening to or you thought you were going to hear uh, because we've been doing this whew, come January the 15th. We've been doing this for 13 years. Oh my goodness. Years. Really? Wow. Yeah. Bringing the truth to people's front doors. Bringing it to you, knocking you down, hitting you in the head with it. We've been called <laughs> all kinds of names since that time. Yeah, you know yeah, that. Both yeah, have been called yeah. all kinds of names. So, we brought the truth. Porch Talk Radio. So that's where you're at. And I mean it. That's where you're at. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's where you is. Uh, there you know, we, there to, we be. To go, to go right on down the tube with it, you know. Uh, if you want to call in, this is a talk show. So if you want to call in today, the call-in number is 813-251-9867. 813-251-9867. WTMP. If you want to call me on my cell phone, and, and, and last week's show was a good show. Uh, a lot of you may have missed it, so you may want to go to Porch Talk Radio, uh, 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 to our, go to our website, because we post all our past shows. Uh -huh. I, I pass our sh past shows there. And, and, and it's it, it was the show about the Lone Ranger. Hi, yo, Silver Away. Oh, last week I did Ho, Ho, Ho. So, so may, may, maybe when I get through with the show today, I remember to say hi, ho, silver away. Now, who the hell says that as you're riding away on horseback, thinking somebody gonna hear you? It's got to be one of those Hollywood TV things, you know, because you know, as as all the Marvel and the DC comic mm, yeah. folks, nobody has a holler hollering as they go away into the sunset of whatever. That that definitely a TV, you know, the horse jumps up and 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 you wave your hat and you wave your hand and stuff and and you just got rid of some bad guys and and you go off into the sunset. You know, that's definitely made for Hollywood. Anyway, 
that's not what you get here. Mm-hmm. You get no. you get you get a different story. And 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 what I was going to do, and if there's time, I will tell you about the Battle of Lake Okeechobee mm. on Christmas, eighteen thirty-seven. Well, and you won't hear about it because the Indians, the Native Americans, and the black folk won. See, that's why you won't hear about it. The only major upset you hear in the history books and in school and on TV is, you know, General Custer, you know, when, when they pretty much slayed everybody who wasn't red. So, so all the white folks died. That's the only time you hear about it. That wasn't the only battle in with the U.S. Army and the U.S. Army military forces back in the olden days, you know, were defeated. You know, but, but if, you, if you look at the books and what you get in school and everything, and I'm not talking about critical race theory. Oh. And they only got one. So, so you know, they, 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 they figure you, we got to have lost at least one battle out of all those Indian war type things mm-hmm. that happened back in the, back in the olden days. And since there's no way they could claim Custer won that one, since not one, not one pale face <clears throat> remained alive after the battle. So, so no, they wasn't even nobody to lie about how how it went. You know, mm-hmm. they wow. they not only killed all the the pale faces, the Indians killed all the animals, everything that was there. Nothing was left alive that belonged to the soldiers. They killed everything and everybody. Sounds almost so, biblical, Eddie. It, it was biblical. That, that, that's why. That's why they can't change it. They cannot change that battle. That happened. They, they, that, that, that one, that one. They can't say, well, we had one survivor, and this is, this is what he said happened, and, and, and they killed all the Indians. You know, which you, you, you go the other way around. Uh, so, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. It's been 13 years. And a lot of folks don't know how we got started. They don't. I mean, we've been here, they, 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 they pretty much, we've been here five years. They, they, they've taken us for granted because we're the longest running radio show on WTMP. Number one Consi- radio. Consistently. Again. Co- you know, continuous. That, that means you're going straight through, you know, it may have been some folks come and go and they change our time and change our everything. And Tim just told me, and Tim is the other, other guy that's in the studio with us. He's he's the official white guy. Dark token. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's our official white guy. Uh, we we have a white guy. So, right. so 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 part of this whole process is and he said we have some listeners in Kansas City. This is this is a happy new year to you guys that's out there because they listen to this show religiously and been listening to this show even before we came to TMP. So they followed us from GUL, which is where we started, TBCN, Tampa Bay Community Network, here to WTMP. So, so, so we got people around the world that's kind of been following us and, and, and this show and these folks, you know, for almost 13 years. Right, and, and 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 I know you don't know how we got started. So so what I'm gonna do mm-hmm. for this New Year's uh-huh. e, for this New Year's Day, Day, you know, I'm gonna take the time and energy. Like I say, we had some, I had some stuff that I was gonna tell you, mm. and I can tell you that next week. There you go. This week is gonna be special. So what I'm gonna do? Back in the olden days, mm-hmm. back in 2010. Oh my goodness. I was running for US Congress. Bright eyed, bushy tail, just just getting my foot wet in politics, figuring out what the game was. And I said to some people, I had I had about 150 volunteers. I was up in my campaign office and we were saying, Well, how do we get the word out? How do we tell some people how good I potentially was if I would become a U.S. congressman. Mm -hmm. And what we did, someone came to me and said, 
well, why don't we get a radio show? Didn't know how we would do. Don't Didn't know whether we'd have any longevity. Uh-huh. We don't know whether we're going to be around for a week or a month or a couple of weeks or a couple of months, you know. You know, and 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 what what the idea, the masterful idea was we have an older black conservative guy mm-hmm. and they will have a young <laughs> black conservative guy and and we two would play off each other mm-hmm. on this radio program, build an audience, an empire, an audience, and keep the public educated about some of the stuff that was going on behind the scene. Mm-hmm. Because the government you see on TV <laughs> is not the government you get. Trust us. The best candidate don't always win. It is never about the money that you know about. Ooh. Yeah, it's always money you don't know about. You know, you know that's that's why they keep Super cha- packs. That's why they keep changing these financing bills and everything. It's politicians changing them too. So I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you what we did. I put the word out. And we got a young man in, and his name you know? What the poor chef. He called himself the poor chef. That sounds like a bad already. But, but but he was conservative. <laughs> and 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 he thought he was famous. Ah, so a legend in his mind. Yeah, he was a legend in his own mind. And th- this legend in his own mind never did a show. You know why he didn't do a show? Hmm. Because he wanted to get paid up front. <laughs> Little did he know, you know, he thought this was going to some big thing and all this money was going to be pouring in and he was going to be a celebrity and go war ride and everybody going to find out who he was because he was going to be making all this money off this radio show. Did you write him that check? Porsche Talk Radio. So, <laughs> didn't do show one, put the word out again, and one day... <laughs> I was sitting in my office, and this younger, younger than I, Hispanic guy showed up, and I wasn't sure who he was or why he was coming. But I'm going to tell you people, and I know a lot of you guys have told me face to face and called on the phone. And, and said they don't like Gabriel and why don't I get rid of Gabriel. <laughs> and miss my big check? I'm telling you guys. Gabriel did our first show, Porch Talk Radio, 13 years ago, still here with me now. Live. And I never wanted a yes man, a yes woman, or somebody who agreed with me because I know a lot of you guys don't agree with me. And I wanted to give the show a younger, different flavor than my own. They were going to get an older black conservative who's been set in his ways and, mm-hmm. and understand some things. But what I can't give you, I can't give you a different perspective. And, and I know like a lot of you guys who may like me, but you definitely like Gabriel less. <laughs> and for that, I've had so many people tell me that they enjoy the show and they enjoy the flair I bring to the show. So for my haters, love you all, God bless you. Uh, I've actually had an amazing time here with Eddie and, and I've had several. I've met him in Walmart, I've met him in bars actually uh, recognize my voice and go, I've heard that voice somewhere. I was driving down the road one day through Tampa and it was your voice I heard. And I had to identify myself at that time. And so I have gotten 
So for the few haters that are out there, because they hate that I keep bringing the truth to you with a sledgehammer, uh, I've had more than enough adoring fans uh, through the Tampa Bay area, and some just recognize my voice, but with a face like mine, it's absolutely perfect for radio. <laughs> and, 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 and let me say, let me say something to you people. The first day we did the show, all the way up to now, it's been a trio. Uh, because yeah. you may not ever, occasionally he, he comes on the air, but Tim Horton and anybody who knows me from my political Escapades. Career. career. <laughs> it, was, it was eight years, you know, and for my political career. The the six foot eight tall white guy that was with us when we started. I think he's shorter now. When we had this idea, is still here, and, and 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 just think of that, people. I have a Hispanic guy and a white guy that I've been working with for. 13 years Oof. bringing this information, bringing this raw knowledge to you. And, and I, I know a lot of you that guy don't like how we bring it to you. <laughs> but at the end of the day, a lot of time after you think about it, we ain't trying to make you think any kind of way. What we're trying to do is make you think for yourself. Mm. That's why we tell you where to go. We tell you to look. Just look at stuff. Because at the end of the day, no matter how many times we say something, until you think it's your idea, till you incorporate it mm -hmm. into your thinking, into your evaluating, into the way you see the world around you. And I, and I, and I know young people, all it takes is a spark. Mm -hmm. And that spark can germinate, and next thing you know, they're out beating down doors, beating up the world. Because cause it's in them. It's in them. Somebody just had to make them see mm -hmm. that they had unlimited potential. Very true, Eddie. Outside of their own political trainings sometimes and leanings sometimes, ideas come to you that make you go, you know, that's not a bad idea. I wonder how come I didn't hear from over here and the problem, Eddie, that's caused you and I to be called many things but loving uh, is the fact that we continue bringing all types of truths that we run across and we read about it, we talk to these people sometimes directly about it, we go research it, and then we bring it to you. And when that hits you in the face, a lot of you, the first thing you know is to hate because you're not familiar with that. It's awkward. It's weird. You don't know what, what to do with that truth that's been landed on you. And to you, it, it, it you, you have to go do something. And the first knee-jerk response to a lot of diehards is, it's a lie. And Eddie spends time looking stuff up. And Eddie's heart is to help the people. For all the years we've been at it, for all the things we've been called, it's to help the people because it sure ain't for the money. Still waiting for my check. Yeah. So just understanding. <laughs> You're going to get a raise next year. Oh, oh great. We got double your salary Dub next year. Oh, boy. Next year. <laughs> so as we continue, year in, year out, uh, week in, week out, bringing truth to your front door. Eddie's not asking you to drop everything and just go run with it and put up the flagpole and go with it. He's telling you, go look it up yourself. And in that process, we know you're going to begin to think outside the box. And like Eddie says, he doesn't want to just go fishing in some pond. He wants to own the pond, but then he also wants to own the land that the pond is in. Again, thinking outside the the box is what we try and bring you guys all the time. I was talking to my neighbor saying uh, wife wants to order an electric car just for the heck of it. And the neighbor suggested, why don't you go buy stock in that company first? Let it sit a year. Her car is fine right now. And let's see what that stock is worth a year later. Again, thinking outside the box. Instead of me calling him a liar, I, I said, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I hadn't thought about that. So... Keep doing what you're doing, Eddie. Yeah, and and another thing is for you people. And, and, you and people. See, see, I can say you people. Come on, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, I know. See, see, the, some of the things that you get upset with Gabriel about, you know, don't don't upset me, and I'm sorry, 
you know, I guess I'm not black enough sometimes. Oh, you know, my goodness, because, you had to because, go there. Because, because I'm, I'm black all the time. <laughs> see, see, but you guys get offended. And you get offended because Gabriel is not making up stuff. Gabriel will bring you something from a different point of view. And because you, and Gabriel is Hispanic. You know, I'm like this. You know, some of the stuff Gabriel say and, and some of the stuff Gabriel may think, it is not anybody's fault. That's just, that just who he is. You know, and I don't want him to try to act like he's a white guy. He's not a white guy. He knows he's not a white guy. You guys keep trying to make him a white guy. He's Hispanic. And his culture has went through, you know, an awful lot of crap on his own. Mm -hmm. and, and because of that, he has a, a point of view that may be shaded different from yours. But all again, we're not trying to sit here and make everybody happy and give you, you know, pancake and Jack and Jill and, and Mary, Mary had a little lamb kind of stuff. The stuff we're talking about is changing every day mm -hmm. in front of your face. Look around Tampa. I was telling people 20 years ago, West Tampa was going to change and black folks weren't going to be able to afford to stay there. Mm -hmm. Look at it now. Wow. It's an awful lot of places in West Tampa black folks can't stay. Mm. And, and and it's going to be more. Mm -hmm. You know, b b because this stuff don't happen in a vacuum. It is planned. It is orchestrated. Oh, yeah. And at the end of the day, the folks who, who make things happen make these things happen. Nothing just happens. It's a lot of stuff behind the doors, behind the scenes, you know, that nobody talked to black folks about. I heard somebody talking... Uh, about a hundred million dollar project that's going into East Tampa. And then I heard somebody else call and say, well, we live in East Tampa, we don't know nothing about it. That's the way they always do crap. You don't know about it because you ain't involved. Oh. And, and, and I keep trying to get you involved oh, and, and, and let you know that there's a whole world behind the scene mm -hmm. that's not on TV, it's not on radio, but they doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And they doing stuff and, and an awful lot of it involves you. Because they know you don't care. They know you're not watching. And when you see a $500,000 house go up right next door uh -oh. to yours, and yours is barely 50. <laughs> Goodbye taxes. And, 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 and next thing you know, the whole block that was across the street from you stopped being warehouses and, and shanties and one bedroom uh, 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 houses mm -hmm. and start being uh, a complex with seven, seven to eight stories, there you, go. you know, with 80 units in it. Okay, how did they do that? Somebody had to send you a letter. And what you did, you ignored it. In a bill. It, it, may, have, it may have been 50 years ago, uh, uh, 25 or 30 years ago, or 15 years ago, but somebody called you because. The person who bought that whole lot mm -hmm. probably tried to buy yours. And if they ain't bought it yet, they will. I'm just saying. Because you got to have some intestinal fortitude, mm -hmm. you know, to keep your property. When somebody come and offer you a couple of nickel and a couple of dime, because we ain't that far from the Indians. You know, back, back when, when they bought Manhattan Island, New York City, for some beads and trinkets and some, and some blankets... And the Indian back then thought it was a good deal. Mm. Now look at New York City now. I'm just saying, this stuff is real. And when somebody come and you and you and it wasn't your house, it was your mama's house, mm. or your or your great grandmama's, yeah. your great granddad's granddad's house. And now you got it, and you're trying to figure out how to keep it. And somebody come in and give you. You know, a hundred thousand dollars, and you know, it ain't worth no more than fifty. Mm -hmm. So you just got over, and then that same <laughs> guy takes that house he gave you a hundred thousand dollars for, sells it to his buddy, and his buddy built a five hundred thousand dollar house on that same lot that's now worth a million, sitting next door to you, which means your taxes went up. Uh -huh, and you yeah. didn't have nothing to do with it. So guess what? When his friend come back and offer you that, you take it. There goes the neighborhood. Literally. 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 Like what I'm trying to tell you, and, and what we don't do here, it's not about shade. 
It's not about talking to you about what somebody else said. Mm -hmm. It's not about tearing down or building up our elected officials. Brooks. Of, of folks who are holding uh, significant offices or resources within our community. Resources, I guess. Is it's how we take all this stuff and make it work for everybody, for all of us. You know, Eddie, and, and again, we've always talked to everybody about get off the couch, go do something. Eddie rattles off meetings regularly. Eddie rattles off uh, websites to go check out. And again, folks, if you don't like what's happening in your neighborhood and you're trying to find out why it ain't working out, go look in the mirror. If you're not actively involved in your community, if you're not going to meetings, if you're not trying to promote your own people to be putting in bids for these big contracts Eddie's calling off here, then the problem's you. And if you were told by the politicians, uh, no, we got this. We've got education and we know what we're doing. Folks, they're the biggest fools out there that your tax dollars have supported. And for decades, you've been getting what you've been getting because you keep doing what you've been doing, which is keeping these fools in power. So if you want to make a change for 2022, and that's part of my message we get done today, Eddie, I'm going to close on, it's going to require you to make a decision in your mind and in your heart that you're going to do something for your people, for yourself, for your community, and start getting involved, period. No excuses. I'm too old. I'm too skinny. I don't wear the right clothes. My car ain't the right color. That's just stupidity. All right, we got a caller. Uh, caller, welcome to Porch Talk Radio on this fine Saturday afternoon, the first fine Saturday afternoon. Our first call of the year. Yeah, in, in, in 2022. Who are you, where are you calling from, and what say you? Hello? Eddie, Eddie, Red Cop. I'm calling right here in Tampa. How you doing? Happy New Year to you. You and your partner. Happy Thanks, New Year sir. to God you. Bless. Look here, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, uh, I don't think anybody has anything personal against you your partner, whoever, because people, black folk, black folk are smarter than what a lot of people think they are. This is a problem here in America. You know, you got about 60 million black people in America. But listen here, all of us are not crazy, but everybody, especially in white America, I believe that, that black folk are crazy. No, they're not. Stupid, not stupid. No, they, they don't think they you're stupid. <laughs> We think we think five percent. We take five or ten percent of black Americans think we all we all stupid. No, no, we're not. Some of us are got certain are thinking. That's right. I mean, if we if we organize and come together, mm -hmm. listen here. White folks will get up off of us. Mm -hmm. And what I yep. said, I and what what I said a, a few weeks ago. Spanish people don't deal with black folks. They don't. I what I didn't say that to be racist or whatever. I'm just telling the truth. So like, I, hey, I've talked to many Spanish people. That's right. But that's just the way it is. Because, hey, we, we're different. We got different cultures. That's right. Black folk are family already, too. That's right. Maybe in a different way than Spanish folk. But, I mean, hey, all we need to do is come together on one accord. And I said this, and I'll keep saying it. Integration was a curse to black folk. We yep. didn't know that now, but now we know it. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Thank God, you. God bless you. Happy, Happy New Year. I'll keep saying it. Happy New Year to you. Yes. Okay. Now, now, now. Let me let me do this right now before we get too involved. And I have to do some other thing. There were some people who have called this show, and are regular callers, and they're good callers. Mm -hmm. And Rev Reverend Cough is one. Awesome man. Frank Dubose calls occasionally. Have never had bad conversations. Joe Robinson. Oh my God. I know Joe Robinson is out there. You know, Joe Robinson is one. Good it, it's, man. it's some Good people man. who make things happen. It's some people who have their head on straight. I'm going to tell you what, what we're trying to do. If I can talk one person into standing up, mm. you know, because mm. that, that that's what we need. We need somebody yeah. to stand in the gap. Because there's a gap there. Mm -hmm, there is. Between the, the doers. The thinkers and the offenders, 
and, and the ones who don't give a crap about uh -huh. you just depends who mean you no good yeah we we are our own worst enemy mm -hmm. I got a friend Mike Reeves who's out of town he's in Charlotte but but Mike called me and said happy new year because me and Mike been together since he was 18 years old oh my goodness and Mike is now a master contractor he was a master plumber he's a master contractor he does construction because come one day I sit I sit Mike down and I said Mike you're now making what a plumber make and you you making good money but on this project that we I'm an architect on this project we're working on you could have got everything you could have got the roofing you you, you could have got the plumbing mm -hmm. you, you could have got the electrical you could have got the HVAC you could have got all the stuff because because if you're the general contractor yeah you hire everybody else and you make money off of everybody that's working for you but see that's that's the knowledge and and guess what my con guess what Michael Reed the plumber did oh. Michael Reed became Michael Reed general contractor mm -hmm. and 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 I keep talking because I don't know when you run across another Michael Reeves, I'm gonna run across another there person go. that's gonna take something I said Boom. too hard and let it change their lives. I got I got a couple more people who called me, and I gotta say right now while I'm thinking about it, this is the first New Year and first Christmas I've been without my mom. My mom passed in April, and it's it's gonna be difficult, you know. But time heals all. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep moving forward. Because I know that's what she wanted. Because my mom, when we think about it, me, me and some of my other family members start thinking about what my mom did. My mom had an eighth grade junior high education. Raised five kids. How many got college? Three of them went to college. Bought a house. Which which we're dealing we still deal with now, we still 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 in the family, in the family. still in the family, with an eighth grade education, raised, bought a house, and, and and made for a good living. Never never went without a meal. We got something. It may not have been what you wanted, but it was enough for them for us to to have a roof of, roof over our head and make some turrets. When was your first new car, Eddie? Do you remember? My first new car was when I was in college. My mm -hmm. mom didn't have a new car until I... She, my mom never had a new car. Let me mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. My mom had a car that was new to her. Uh. It was used mm -hmm. because when I bought a car, and then I got to where I could buy another car, I gave her my old car. Okay. So that was her first car. So it may have been new to her, but it wasn't a new car. Mm -hmm. And she did this, and I keep hearing people complaining about this and that. My mom had five kids on her own. My father left when I was six years old and I didn't see him again until I was 16. And she did this and, and, and I could only look up to her and look back at the things she accomplished with absolutely no education. And I'm telling you what she did for most of my life. Mm -hmm. She was a domestic servant. She cleaned houses, cleaned hotel rooms, cooked. None of that stuff took a college degree or a high school degree. But she did well because it was in her. And the most important thing to her was making sure her children lived better than she did. So failure was not an option. It wasn't an option. She never saw it. And it was never a burden. So I can't sit here and act like I did something special. But I'm telling you what she did. She instilled not only in me, but in all her children, that we could do anything we wanted to do and be anyone we wanted to be. That's why when I tell folks, you know, what they can do, I, I mean, I know where I came from. And I know how hard it was. And I know what people take for granted today. Oh, that was back then. Hell, it's easy. I tell you right now, if somebody in your family ain't got a job, mm -hmm. you can go to any 7-Eleven, Walmart, 
Amazon. Pickwick, Publix, any restaurant, and get a job. All you got to do is want to work. Hell, you can do it Monday. It's a lot of folks who pay people. I was talking the other day with someone. They were saying, oh, they got a $1,000 bonus mm -hmm. if you go sign up, go to work, and last for six months. Hell, six months back when I started working, you know, you was on probation. Yeah. Hell, they gave you six months before they fired you. With six, inside of six months, they could fire you with no, for no excuse, for no reason. I don't like you because because you're black, because <laughs> because you're black. <laughs> Let me say, let me leave it at that. Yeah. I'm gonna add something. Else to yeah. <laughs> I don't like you because you're black. Fire, for no excuse. That's what I'm trying to say. Now they'll pay you, and all you gotta do is stay there six months, and they'll pay you an extra thousand dollar bonus. The times are different. Take advantage of them. Sometime, Bubba. And Sally and Sue and John and Shirley may not have that spark that you got because this new generation don't don't have it. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, I, I gotta say it. They, they they don't have that intestinal fortitude that burns their butt when they sit on it. See, when I was young, I couldn't sit down. Hell, we was running, ripping, and and doing everything outside. Now now from birth to some of these folk get old and die, they sitting on their butt. Staring at a little monitor. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing it, you're making money, you know, that, that, may, that, may, be, that may be your thing. But at the end of the day, what's important is you do something to take care of your family, whatever it takes. And if you're a male, you're supposed to be pro the protector. Protect Does that mean providing also, Eddie? Provide and protect. I don't think that's being taught right now, Eddie. Provide and, well, well you got to know it to teach it. Mm. And if you don't know it, you can't teach it. I was telling somebody yesterday, New Year, New Year's Eve. If there is a young black male or female interested in politics, bring them on. They need to get involved. Yes, they do. You yeah. need to have. Two or three young folks, not two or three people older than Orlando Goose. <laughs> you need two or three people 20 or 30 years younger than Orlando ready to take his place. Orlando's a good man. Like Orlando's him. great. But but nobody's ready to take his place and none of the other elected officials. All the elected officials in Hillsborough County that are black are also old. Mm. And I'm sorry I don't mean to offend nobody, but but y'all 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 all are old. I don't see no 20-something and no 30-somethings in line to take your place. It should be. Because there's not. It won't be nobody when, when, when Orlando steps down, when Gwen Myers steps down, when Diane Hart steps down. Because at some point, at some point in this process, they're going to get old and they're going to get tired of it. And it should be somebody in the process of somebody being mentored or somebody working. I'm, I'm telling you what you need to do. If you are 20 or 30 something and you got involved in something, volunteering, mm -hmm. helping, folks in the community will see you. Oh, John Smith, oh, that's a good young man. Why don't we give him an opportunity to do something? That's how it happens. You may make the first step. I want to go volunteer for, for, for Jack and Jill. I want to, I want to, if you're in the fraternities or sororities, you know how those things work. They, those are great doors, great, great opportunities. And one thing I told my Alpha brothers, hell, yeah, we got a Q, we got Kappa. We got Deltas, we got AKs. Not one alpha. I'm calling you out. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. It should have been in politics locally. Because you're natural born leaders. Or else you wouldn't be an alpha. Because of there are certain things that that we need as a community. It used to be a time 
all the political people were preachers. Well, right now, in this in this political, in, in, I'm saying politics, in politics locally here, other than Reverend Scott, well, I, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, re everybody knows Reverend Scott, but Bishop Scott, you know, we don't have any other preachers that heavily involved in politics. So we don't even have the traditional folks who have stepped up and said we want to be involved. We want to make sure the right things happen, happen for our community. You know, Eddie, and I think that's been a programming that has been done for many decades in our nation to where <clears throat> if you knew the gospel, if you knew the word, that you were not supposed to be involved in politics or you weren't supposed to cross politics in the churches. But yet there's many black churches that had Obama come in and talk. There's many black churches and Hispanic churches that had Democrats come in and talk. But yet when it comes to people themselves doing it, they're like, oh no, I can't mix the both. I either have to be religious and just be a preacher or just be a politician, but I can't be both. And right now, Eddie, you and I are seeing, and so is the rest of our people listening, that if you don't have a God in your world, in your life, in your mind, in your heart, then you will get what you've been getting. These politicians don't give a crap about you. Never have, never will. And they're going to continue doing their best to oppress and depress because they don't know any better. And for us to get people from the church to be involved and use their faith as a standard, a much higher standard than most politicians are using, then I think it's a win-win, and I think it allows our church to finally step up to the plate, Eddie, and begin to be put in a position of power they're supposed to have been, that they have been kicked out of religion, that's crazy, and political things, Eddie. And like you said, politicians back in the old day was a lot of preachers. That's right? who it was, because they had, they had churches, they had followings, they, they was servants, you know, they had all mm -hmm. the key ingredients all they had to do was step up and say, I will lead my flock. Mm -hmm. I won't just be a sheep. I want to be a shepherd. Ooh. And that's and that's a different kind of a calling. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it used to be a time when, when a lot of religious folks wasn't educated. That they didn't go to theology school. Uh, but they knew the word. But 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 they were called. Mm -hmm. So so they would say, Well, I used to be a drunk, I used to be in the gutter, mm -hmm. I used to be a whore, I used to be this, I used to be that. And and then and they had some hell yeah, they got some people who are who are preachers and got the education and still whores. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's good, but again, that's good. But again, that's that's not what we're talking about. That's not what this show is about. This is a show about where do our next generation of leaders for this community come from. Now, Eddie, real quick, when you just finish off the last part here. For those fools that don't understand, Eddie and I are not judging, but we can. And for you to say, who are you to judge? You shouldn't be doing that if you call yourself a Christian. Well, then you obviously haven't read the Bible because there are many verses that talks about Christians judging Christians. And it's with a heart and a motivation to help them, not to hurt them. And that's the difference. So it is biblical. Go for it. All right. Let me get that in, on this day in. We're getting fired up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because because we'll, we'll get to talking the next thing Run I know. Past. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we kind of have to rush in at the end of the show, and I don't want to do that. So on this day, for those who've been with us, you know, for the last five years and those who've been with us for the last five minutes. God bless you. We do this for a reason. Everything we do on this show has a purpose. And that purpose, above all, is not political. I may, I may be political. Gabriel may be political, Tim may be political, but it's about in uplifting this community, the black community. And I'm not afraid to say that, and I will continue to do that, and I will continue to do the things that we need to do, because in this community we have silos. Everybody got a silo, and if you've been to a farm, you know what a silo is, those giant mm -hmm. towers, and inside those towers are grain, uh, a wheat, uh, uh, or corn, or, or some, some, something else is in there. But what's in there belongs to whoever owns the farm. What we're talking about is you got to take down that silo, share what's in that silo mm -hmm. with other folks in the community so that you all can prosper. All right? On this day, 
January the 1st, 1808, the U.S. prohibited the import of slaves from Africa. That means that's the day the transatlantic trade, slave trade to the United States were prohibited by the United States. On this day, January the 1st, 1863, all of you who are black should know what this day was. The U.S. President, Abraham Lincoln, signed the Emancipation Proclamation which declared that all slaves in the rebel states were free. So whether you was in the South or not, you're still free. On this day, January the 1st, 1892, Ellis, Ellis Island Immigration Station formally opened in New York. That means we start taking in legal immigrants from other countries. And on this day, and I know some of our Hispanic listeners, uh, they know this date. Some of you black folks may not know it. On this date, in 1959, mm -hmm. January the 1st, Fidel Castro overthrew the government of Batista and seized power in Cuba. Mm. Well, folks, Eddie has had all the, uh, the fun today. He's brought all the good <laughs> stuff, all the happy stuff. As we start the new year, change is pretty much what I'm, I'm asking you guys as well as we start the new year. So my message is short, but to the point. We have spent the last 12 months here at Porch Talk Radio, faithfully bringing truth to your front door. We have been called names because of the small-minded listeners who refuse to accept the fact that the narrative their oppressors, depressors, have preached for decades is wrong. Stockholm Syndrome is a reality for the people, sheep, that continually uh, support these local liberal Democrats across America. Twelve major cities in America today with the highest shootings, murders, crime rates are Democrat-controlled, most for decades. Your people's blood runs thick in the majority of the Democrat-controlled towns. The local church seems to get a pass. That's a side note there. The Democratic Party is proud of its record for very high minority murders, not only by teaching you to defend these politicians, but by keeping you submissive to bring your unborn babies to the local abortion clinics to murder them in the womb. Power to the people is a socialist call, meaning power over the people. As long as you continue electing the same politicians with a D, for a party that understands that D means continued death to the black and Hispanic people, you will get what you've been getting. Those, that es those minorities that escape death end up filling up the prisons until they're killed. Everyone knows the definition of insanity, except black and Hispanic voters. Decades after decade, they vote what they were told to vote to get what they've been getting. It is with a heavy heart, I ask, if you care about the blood that runs thick across American streets, mainly your people, stop putting into power the ones that have for decades done nothing to change or help the death rate decrease. And as we look forward in 2022, the Democratic Party has nothing new to offer, just more dead bodies. As well, as we start a new year, Eddie and I will continue doing what we've been known to do best, agitate the minorities to start thinking for themselves. It's okay to disagree because you don't know the truth at first. But next, go check it out for yourself and help your people. That's it for me. All right. And, and, and I cannot let the first day of January 2022 go by mm -hmm. without telling you that real soon five dollar gas is in your future and and the economy is sliding down the, down, that, that, mm. that down the slippery slope even though 
you was promised all this good stuff and and, and, and coronavirus going to be gone too. Eddie, remember and, we were promised and, that. And things going to be better because they were going to build it back better. I, I'm going to tell you what my oh. picture, my picture in my mind of somebody trying to build back better is somebody who took a round wheel, built a square wheel, and now they're trying to convince you that it will roll and it will do better because a square will move forward better than a wheel. You have been lied to, folks. Wake up. And it's all about the information. See, see, they don't just throw stuff out there. It has a story. It has a campaign. They program it. It, it has a why. Yeah. And, 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 and it's about making you see that it is better for you. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I saw a thing on Facebook. I posted a thing on Facebook this morning. It had a field full of sheep. It had a sign in the middle of the field with a wolf. Mm. A wolf on the sign. Mm. And his slogan was, I will eat you. And you know what the, the little caption said? Mm. I voted for him now, this is she. I voted for him because he has sensitive tweets. Eddie, 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 I think you're going down the slippery slope here. <laughs> this is like the Democrats saying they're going to cure coronavirus, and uh, Mr. Biden just a week ago saying he lied. We can't do that. That's not, that's not a government thing. And it's like you being told to wear these masks, and every time the politicians that are put, trying to do mandates, for you to wear a mask that's ineffective, that doesn't work, they're caught in Florida without their mask, or they're buying multi-million dollar properties in Florida because Florida has a no mask. Those politicians that are trying to tell you that you voted for to wear the mask, they can't wait to escape to places where they don't have to wear that stupid mask. And the minute they're showing a picture to everybody else, look, another hypocrite, they come back and attack that person. How dare you expose the truth that I don't believe in the lie that Washington has been pushing for the last couple of years now. And Dr. Fauci just came on three, four days ago saying, oh, because the economy could go to hell now after two years, we want you to just put the mask on and go for five days if you think you're sick and then go back to work. Eddie, I thought science was science. I don't understand what science Fauci is talking about. The science of the dollar bills follow the Benjamins? Yeah. Well, again, let me let, let me say this to you. I am not trying to convince you of anything. Neither am I. Back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, everybody kept saying, well, you know, when we had sponsors to take this show off the air, uh, tell Eddie to do this, tell Eddie to do, do that, let me tell you something. My father may not have been a loving father, but he had some some hell of a sayings. Mm -hmm. And if you hang around him for a couple of months, like I did the last couple of years when I was in high school, I went up and spent the summer with my father. And I listened to some of the things that he was saying. And he said... that if you want to be the boss of anything, you got to pay the cost. You can't boss for free. You got you to pay the cost. And, and what he was inferring was there's somebody paying all of the cost. And next time you go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. maybe not the next time, you, for the for the past six months, mm -hmm. everything going up is going up. Mm. But if you listen to the politicians, mm -hmm. they keep telling you your life is better. Things are getting better. We gonna build back better. That ain't even good English. <laughs> I am. I, I'm, I just want you to think for yourself. The cost of gas is going up. Mm -hmm. 
The cost of food is going up. Mm -hmm. The cost of medications are going up. Nothing, nothing is going down. Eddie, and uh, everything you just called off that's going up, these politicians, Eddie, do you know how much they're affected by all of that? Not at all. Not one single bit. So it's your dumb A that put them in power, and they are exercising power over you, not power for the people, power over the people. And you are the people. You put them in power. The wisest thing you can do now, election time come around, kick them all out. It didn't work. Make a correction. Woo! It's okay. Trump is a bad tweeter. Oh yeah. I am. I. I, I am. I am sorry for you, and, and I, I don't make apologies for Trump. Mm -mm. But if you got if you got offended by something Trump tweeted about, next time you overspend for your bread and your butter for the basics for your gas. For your rent, Ooh. for anything that you're buying, be offended that you are paying two and three times what it cost just two years ago. And you voted for that. And the only thing that's changed is the let's go Biden. Let's go Brandon. Let's go I ain't gonna say what I want uh, to say, you know, cause, cause he just touchy feely with little kids and and all that kind of stuff, creepy, creepy Joe. But but again, nothing has changed because when you look at Joe Biden, just think how much more money you're paying for everything, and the only change in your life is the person who's tweeting. You like. Matter of fact, Joe don't even write his own tweets. Oh, he doesn't Joe, know what that Joe, is. Joe, Joe, Joe don't do his own tweets. No. That, that way he can't make this mistake that Trump made, make everybody mad because his tweets aren't kind and gentle and, 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 and contains a bunch of boulder dash. Now, Eddie, with all you've talked off so far, I know it to be factual. So for those people that are still listening to that pedophile channel, uh, uh, C C CNN, I think, the, the pedophile channel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody's going to prison there for mm, nasty yeah. stuff with children. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm almost certain everything we've talked about today doesn't line up with that, that pedophile channel. So uh, if you make a decision, and maybe just cut the TV off and go open a Bible. Oh, my God. Go talk to the neighbor. See what's going on. Get involved. Do something different. Well, let me say this. Hi, oh, silver. Absolutely. Away. In the uh, 2022. Until next week, same bat time, same bat station, Tampa Bay. Folks here at Post Talk Radio, we love you. God bless America. Bye bye.